so welcome back to my channel guys we're gonna get straight into the video if you haven't already like comment subscribe join the family and yeah <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we finna get straight into the video. Y'all know real fast, real quick. Starting by brushing the hair out because it's been in that ponytail to the back. Now we're gonna start by parting our hair in a zigzag part. So like not straight, don't part don't start with a straight part. Start over from the side and like you a zigzag is pretty common sense. I just hope y'all can see it while I'm doing it. so after trying to get the part straight for forever um we're gonna go in with our hot comb and get the hair laid down pushing it into the direction that we want it to go because i've been having it in the side part so it's kind of already trained to be in the side part position so yeah you definitely have to run a high comb over that we're gonna put some mousse on it and just get it real laid Okay, you guys, and so now we're just going to part off the little pieces that's going to be hanging down in our face. So you can really just take out a section of that hair and then part off the back from the front because the front is going to have going to be up and the back needs to be out of the way. So, yeah, get that parted and then put the back into a ponytail. Here I am separating the front from the back just to have that hair out of the way and we can really like work with the top hair and not have no problems. Hey y'all, and so after you get your little two pieces of hair out, you can get them out the way as well because they were kind of in my way. And I didn't want to pull none of the hair back into the hair that I'm finna do. So anyway, we're going to take our mousse and our brush and comb and just, you know, we finna get it flat. Y'all already know how this go. Put the mousse on it and brush it or comb it in so that it's really in there. And then, you know, we finna get our hot comb and hot comb it down because we want that flat look. We want it looking as natural as possible, of course. So, yeah. Y'all, keep running that flat comb, flat comb, oh my God. Keep running that high comb over your hair until you feel like it's as flat as you want it to be. Now, honestly, you will end up burning yourself a little bit or the steam will hit your head a little bit because I did that in this video. Oh my God. But just try your best to get it as flat as you can. Oh, 
So now you're going to get to a rubber band or a hair bow. I use rubber bands just because like it's going to hold it tighter and it's not as bulky. So anyway, get your rubber band and start to put the hair into a ponytail after you've molded it and got it as flat as you want it to be. <clears throat> and so now we're just going to go over to the other side and do the same exact thing to the other side. So yeah, y'all just keep watching. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I just let the steam come through the cap on my head. And when I tell you it burns so bad, try not to do that. But it's really nothing you could do to prevent it from happening. Because it's just like the hair is has wetness on it. So the steam is going to have to go somewhere. So yeah, you're just going to have to eat it like a G. Simple. just gonna take the other side and do the same thing to it and I'm just like basically making a ponytail but I'm not pulling it all the way through just a little so that there's still some hair out and then the nails just sit there and really messed it up so I definitely had to fix it because my nails snagged it a little bit and it pulled some of the hair out but let's go ahead and get to the next thing so I take my mousse and I use my edge brush or a comb and just like fix my edges up a little bit because honestly i feel like if you use anything else on your edges not just anything else but like say got to be glue or something more heavier it's kind of like they get stiff and don't really want to move and i believe that i did put edge control on these before like prior because this is a touch up so yeah that's kind of why they they don't move as good but if you use mousse, that helps them. It's, mousse is a lot lighter, so you really won't have a problem of them being stiff. So now we're just going to take our little skinny flat, iron, skinny flat iron and curl the little hairs that we left out. And y'all, I had some trouble with this curl iron because it really didn't, not this curl iron, this flat iron, because it didn't want to curl the hair. So I had to go over it a few times, but just keep on going over it till you get the curl that you want. take your skinny flat iron and go over the little pieces that we left hanging outside the little what we're gonna call these buns i guess the little buns so yeah we're just curling that hair i kind of wanted it to be curled up but it was like too much hair out so i just did the best that i could do really and then i started breaking it down like parting it off flat on i mean curling piece by piece because it kind of didn't want to take on as big as it was i guess maybe i had too much hair in it I'm just basically flat on in the back of the hair just because like it's been up in a ponytail and it's not really hair looks so much better bone straight than just you know laid on so i'm just running the flat iron over everything in the back getting it real straight real smooth
finished product. Y'all, I don't know where this little style came from in my head, but it was cute and I really liked it. So I hope y'all like this video. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, join the family, become a gang member. And yeah, y'all stay tuned for the next video because I do have another wig upload. Um, it'll be a curly wig though, and it'll be black. So y'all stay tuned for that.